glory. Welcome, welcome, welcome to National Watch, Repairers of Broken Walls Ministry. Welcome, welcome. And we are gathering. We are gathering and sharing. Let them know that we are on. Tonight, Apostle Oral Hazel is on. And I'll be sharing. So we're just gathering. Share, share, share. Call a friend. Let them know that we are on. Let them know that repairers of broken walls are on live and face. I'll be sharing and worshiping. So you go ahead. You share, share and worship as we gather. Just worshiping and gathering, worshiping and gathering and sharing. Hallelujah. Welcome, 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 welcome.
just worship Him, just worship, just worship Him. Worship as we gather. I'm sharing with all my friends that we are up live. So share, share, call a friend. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I came up early so I could share, let my friends know that I'm up and you can share and share. And we welcome everyone. Hallelujah to the national repairers of the broken walls. We greet you. Well, we also greet the visionaries uh, of this gathering. And every Monday night, this global gathering, uh, we, we salute um, Pastor Kurt Richardson. We salute you, sir. We thank you. Hallelujah for your mission and your passion uh, for ministry. And we consistently pray for you. That God would widen your borders and enlarge you and give you the Javis portion while you're here on the earth and bless you. Indeed, we are salute. The visionary apostle Napolina Richardson, and we consistently pray for you, see God's face for you, amen. And maybe not God will give you your portion in the earth, widen your borders, and strengthen you, and fortify you, and catapult you into a whole another level. And we greet all the all those who normally come and those who are part of the repairers of the broken wall. You come every Monday. 
to listen to the word of God and to pray and intercede for the world. We welcome you. We welcome first time um, viewers. We welcome all those who will be sharing and sharing, getting the word of God out as we come around the throne of God today uh, to pray, to share the word of God and to worship. And so we're going to begin in a few. I'm going to put the song up and then we're just going to just worship our way in and be blessed. As we worship, as we worship. Right where you are, let his presence feel, let his presence feel, rise, your rest, and be blessed by our praise, as we glory in your embrace. Yeah, just enter in with worship and praise. See our praise now fills this place. Hallelujah. worship you we praise you let your presence let your presence mm-hmm. we worship him we worship him God, you're awesome. As we enter into your presence tonight, Lord, we praise you, we worship and adore your name. We bow in your presence. We hallow your name. Let your kingdom come tonight. Let your will be done tonight. Oh, yes, let your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, let your kingdom, let your kingdom come as we worship and as we push our way into your presence. Ah, yes, we push, we push our way into your presence. Oh, yeah, we worship you, we worship, we worship. Ah, let's worship him, just worship, just God worship, just worship. Hallelujah. If you pray in the Holy Spirit, just pray in the Holy Ghost. Shila la riando riba bayanda. 
I will go speak in the Holy Spirit, go pray in the Holy Spirit, sing in English. But let's uh, just sama, uh, just worship Him. We worship, we worship, we worship you. Just tell a friend, we are over here worshiping, we are praising. Oh, all over the world, let's just worship together. All down in the archipelago of the Caribbean, let's worship Him. We worship Him abandonedly. That's where God, if you just bump into this, we are praying in the Spirit, singing in the Spirit. Go tonight, fill folks with the Holy Ghost, empower persons with the Holy Ghost, baptize us, fill us, speaking with tongues as the Spirit gives utterance. I tell you, you might have to go in your bathroom. Somebody might have to go in their bathroom, their bedroom, all by themselves. Lift their hands up, kneel down, just lie prostrate in your floor, and just you and God just worship, just worship unabandonedly. Because our hearts are dry, our hearts are thirsty, and we want more. Oh, change the atmosphere. Oh, we unabandonedly worship, we unabandonedly worship, just worship, just worship Him. Lord, we worship, we worship, we worship. That is a time of worship. Just worship Him. Just release it out of your mouth. Just worship Him. And as you worship in the spiritual building, yourself up in the most holy faith. Lord, you pray in the Holy Ghost, Lord God, build up your church. Build up apostles and pastors, evangelists and teachers. Build up the believers. Build up the church back up after COVID and after this pandemic. Build us back up strong. Who oh, cause us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Cause us to put on the whole armor of God. We worship, we worship, we worship, we worship. Oh, we worship. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, we worship, we worship, we worship. An abandoned worship. We are worship, we worship. We go up together. We worship, we worship. Our hearts are thirsty. We are hungry for you. We are saying, God, more, more, more. More for the journey. Open up portals of glory tonight. Oh, we are joined, we are joined, we are joined in heaven to open up portals of heaven, portals of glory, portals of His Majesty. Portals of miracles, signs and wonders. Portals of salvation of our islands and nations. Shila la ra ba 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 yanda. As we worship and we send these signals and the waves and the wind all over the, the earth. Oh, let it ricochet into signs and wonders. Let's, let people just bump into us on purpose. Send the signal to folks. iPhone, iPad, cell phone, television sets. We to open them up. We are worshiping. Oh, we 
Let's push, let's push. Worship, worship, worship. We enter into his gates. Of his majesty. His gates filled with his glory. Filled with his power. Filled with miracles. Filled with peace. Feel its full surrender. Feel with an awakening for this generation. Feel for restoration, reformation. Just abandonly just worship him. Let the sound of a rushing mighty wind 
hit our houses, hit our churches, hit our families. God, we abandon and we just worship you. We praise you. We worship you. Praise. Wait for you. In our sanctuary, we are a living sanctuary. Praise. Wait for you. Our soul, Reba, needs to worship. Our spirit man needs to worship. Our mind needs to worship. Our body needs to worship. We worship, we worship, we worship, we worship, and then I'm going to share a little and then we're going to pray and prophesy. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. God, we worship you. We praise you, Father. We just pray over our, our night tonight as we come together. Hallelujah. To hear the full counsel of God in the name of Jesus. We pray for blessing all those who gather around repairing the walls of righteousness in their island, in their nation, in their communities, in their churches, within their family, wherever they are. And so, Father, we thank you. Let a fresh wind of your Holy Spirit blow tonight in the name of you. Do signs, wonders, and miracles tonight. Heal the body of Christ tonight. Revive the body of Christ tonight. In a, stir up the fires of God in the body of Christ tonight. Cause us to run and not be weary. Walk and not faint in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, bless us. Bless us tonight. Pour out, pour out your fire upon us. We come around, Lord God, we come around the fireplace. Pour out your fire upon us tonight. We are huddled around the fireplace tonight. Ah, we need your fire. Hallelujah. To win or to, to burn on the inside of us to burn in our communities, to burn, Lord God, in our churches. Give us an Elijah experience. The God who answers by fire, answer tonight. We cry out to the God who answers by fire to answer tonight. Oh my God, any doubt, any questions you have, any problems that you're going through tonight, we are calling on the God who answers by fire fire and when he shows up he deals well with the situation that we are going through too and we are overcomers in this life somebody shout hallelujah somewhere along the place but tonight we're going to talk about the glory of the lord i like to talk about the glory of the lord filling the earth the word of the lord tells us in habakkuk and the verse 14. Somebody can write it down there for me. Habakkuk 2 and the verse 14. Write it on the wall. It says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. For the earth, this earth will be filled. It's God's will. will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the water covers the sea. It's the earth. This earth, the word of God declares that the earth is the Lord. This earth belongs to the Lord. He has the title deed to the earth. It is his. It doesn't belong to the enemy. It doesn't belong to the crowd who are saying crucify him, crucify him. It belongs to to the Lord and God is going to come to restore this earth. He is going to come hallelujah, with the refiners of fire to refine the earth again. Oh somebody shout and say hallelujah. So the glory and in, in 2 Thessalonians 2.14 2 Thessalonians 2.14 tells us it was for, for this he called you through our gospel 
that you may gain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Timothy, Second Thessalonians 2.14. God wants you, when the earth is filled with the glory of God, he wants you, hallelujah, to know that, that you may gain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can gain the glory. The glory of God is for you to gain. It's for you to possess. So tonight, I want you to possess the glory of God, the substance of the glory of God. I want somebody to shout and say, I'm going to grab a hold to the glory of God. I want to gain the glory of God. I want to hold on to the substance of God, not to this, this stuff that's around me in the world that people are killing themselves for. But I want my gain. I want the gain of the glory of God to be in my life, in my family's life, in my church life, in my, in my island's life, my community and my hallelujah nation's life and so the word of god tells us in in uh in isaiah chapter 44 it says in isaiah 44 and verse 5 it says and the glory of the lord shall be revealed we thank god for revelation glory and the glory of the lord is being revealed tonight and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Isaiah 40 and verse 5. Can you write it on the wall for me? And, and, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. This is a time for the glory of God to be revealed. No longer will the glory of God be hidden under a veil. But the, the sons and daughters of, of God, we are going to come to be the manifestation of the power, the presence, and the glory of God. God. It's time for revelation glory. With all the pandemic and the coronavirus and all the stuff that's happening in the church, what we need right now to kill the drought is the glory of God to be revealed in the church house. And so, Father, tonight as we pray and prophesy, we are prophesying the glory of God to hit apostles and pastors and preachers and ministry leaders' lives, praise and worship leaders life let the glory of God tonight just hit them on purpose they might not even be on this live feed but they might be doing something else but father as we shout it together let the glory of God hit the men and the women of God and the church leaders in in this particular time and season and the glory of God is declaring that the drought is over Patchness is over. Hiding is over. It's time for us, like Elijah, to move from the Brook Cherub Church and just lapping up the stuff in our home and move back to the house of God. What happened is that when the brook dried up at the, at the for Elijah, God said, "It's time for you to start walking." I think it's time for the church to begin to march back to the house of God. That's the power base. Yes, it's good for us to enjoy the streaming and everything. I tell you, but even in the Virgin Islands, the governor came on today and he said that at least 50% can come back to the house of God. And so that is a hallelujah moment in the Virgin Islands. So 50 percent of us uh, can come out of hiding. Somebody could just write that for me. 50 percent of the folks uh, in the Virgin Islands will come on back to the house of God to lift their hands up, to sing in the spirit, to worship, to cheer the men and women of God on. Get back in, your, plug yourself back in, and let's begin to operate. I believe this is the time. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And it says uh, it's not going to be hidden and all flesh shall see it together. I pray that the church flesh will see it together. And then God, and, and God doesn't move this movement of the glory outside the church. He did it before with, with um, the full gospel um, men's ministry and the women's glow. Uh, it filled them outside the church with the power, the presence, and the glory of God. And, and God is knocking and saying, I want my glory to come in. And if we refuse to let the glory of God come into the house, God is going to start some kind of movement outside of the church because God's will and purpose must be done. I, he says, and the glory of the Lord 
shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord it came out of his mouth has spoken in Isaiah 40 and the verse 5 I'm, I'm ready for the glory of God somebody say I'm ready I'm ready come on and tell the church get ready tell the church get ready get ready get ready church get ready for the glory of God get ready for the power the presence and the glory of God God is not coming back for a hiding church God is not coming back for a church in in the dark age hiding someplace mm -mm. God is coming for a church that, that that who is an overcomer a church that that shining a light he says let your light so shine a salty church a powerful church that's the kind of church that's God's coming back for not this one not this hiding church no not this defecting church so father in the name of the we prophesy let the glory of God fall upon every believer from the pulpit to the door and, and let a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit blow in the name of Jesus and change our trajectory change our way of thinking change our mode of operation we pray father that when we come back into the house of God that we will come around your fire Elijah's fire and let there be a bonfire that can be seen can be felt and let the faith of God be released in this hour to God's people in the name of Jesus and so father we thank you we thank you for what you're doing now Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 35 Proverbs 3 35 says the wise shall inherit glory somebody got to type there and say I am wise Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 35 it says the wise shall inherit glory I put my hands up God I'm a wise man you're a wise woman you're a wise man a wise son wise daughter the wise shall inherit glory glory is our inheritance you can type there and say glory is my inheritance I like to put my name in the word of God and glory is oral hazel's inheritance let's all shout it together glory is my inheritance uh, so is that the struggle uh, to tap into the glory is over glory sir glory man is your inheritance so we inherit it we take it by faith somebody say hallelujah the question is, do you want the glory of God? The question is, do you want the glory of God in your life? Okay, get, get hungry for the glory of God. You got to get hungry for the glory of God. You got to go into daily worship and daily breakthroughs in praise and worship and tap into the glory of God. Get hungry. Say, I am hungry for the glory of God. Somebody can write that on the wall and say, I am. Tonight, God stir up that hunger for the glory of God in my life. When we talk about the glory of God, we're talking about the cardboard, the K-A-B-O-D, the cardboard or the Shekinah, S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H, -H, the Shekinah glory. And so in the Old Testament, um, I mean, wherever, uh, who, whoever possessed um, weight in the sense of dignity was called glory. Kabod. Kabod means weightiness, splendor, honor, and even beauty. Kabod, the kabod of the Lord. It means weightiness. When, when the glory of God comes in, there's a weight. Okay, a weight comes, splendor comes, honor comes, and even beauty. And all this comes, not from earth, but it comes from a different kingdom on the earth. His splendor, his honor, all the church needs is the weight of God from another world. Somebody cried and said, God, we need the weight of God upon the men and women of God's life. That when we minister the word of God, when we pray, when we preach, when we worship, we release the weight that is upon us. And that weight goes upon another brother, upon another sister. And also, the the the, the, the Kabbalah speaks of honor, it speaks of splendor, and, and the beauty of God. And all this comes from the another world, another realm, the realm of glory. Lord God, we put our hands up in the air and say, Lord God, 
release your cardboard glory upon us. Lord God, beautify the church again. Bring honor back to the church again. There was a time even when people um, in the community passed the church, they were either doing a sign of cross or they would take their hats off. Now they're breaking in the churches. But I tell you, so the honor has to come back to the house of God and the beauty must come back to the house of God and the splendor and the weight, the cardboard of God must come back. Uh, somebody said, Lord God, bring your glory back, uh, your honor back. And so, so that, yes, uh, and so the Shekinah, Shekinah, the Shekinah glory of God, the word Shekinah means to be seen or um, visible. You see, one is weight, one is splendor, one is beauty. But the Shekinah, this one means to be seen when it comes. Elijah fire was Shekinah glory. It was seen, um, a visible manifestation of the divine presence during the Azusa street. I mean, there was a divine presence. People saw fire. The fire of God at times was released within the, the church in Azusa. And, and when the fire was released, uh, people were engulfed, uh, engulfed in the fire of God. And that right there is where um, signs and wonders occur. You, you, the glory of God, the splendor of God, the, the visible presence of God. And so we got to cry out again for the Shekinah glory of God, the glory that can be seen. We cannot come back to church the same old, same old God. The Shaka, let the Shekinah glory be revealed upon the men and women of God. Let the Shekinah glory of God be manifested in our church houses, in our communities, in our uh, islands, uh, in, our, in, in our nations, the nations of the earth. Uh, release uh, the, your power, your presence, and the glory of God. God, we are like Moses. We cannot go up any further. We cannot sing another praise song, another worship song. We cannot preach another sermon unless your glory, your presence come along with with us, God, we are crying out and we are saying, Glory come. Come on, somebody cry and say, Glory come, glory come. The honor, the beauty, and the weight. I tell you, we're gonna worship right there. We're gonna worship right there. I just feel it right there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Rabbi Yashanda, Rabbi Yashanda, Rabbi. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Your power, your power. Your power and your weight. Let your power and your weight. Let your your weight. Let the weight of your glory come. Let the honor of your glory come. Let the splendor of your glory come. Let the visible presence of your glory come. Just worship, just worship. I just... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Shila na riyandu riba. Ah, yes, God, we cannot go. The church cannot go up. As usual. Oh, Rabbi, but we cannot go up looking back in history. We need present tense glory, God. We need glory now. Somebody type that for me. We need God, we need. We're crying out tonight. And we're saying, God, we need glory now. We need your manifestation now. We are crying out. We don't like being dry. We don't like being parched. We don't like the sinners pass in the church because there's no substance in the church, no glory in the church, no manner in the church. Lord God, bring up bring back substance, bring back honor back to the house of God, bring back honor back to the, the, the men and women of God, bring back your beauty and your splendor and your visible presence back into the house of God. A ah, visible manifestation of, the, of his divine presence visible the glory the shekinah a visible manifestation of his divine presence oh a visible manifestation of his divine presence god god prepare your church prepare your church for your glory tonight prepare your church for your glory tonight prepare your church for your glory tonight Ah, yes, so we look at the carbon glory. It means the weight and splendor and the honor and the beauty of God coming among us one more time. Look at the Shekinah glory of God. And we say it speaks of that which can be seen 
a visible manifestation of the divine presence of God. That's what we need in this day. That's what we got acquired for. The cupboard means the weightiness of the glory of God. The weight of His presence. The weight that nothing can stand in His presence. And we just got to bow. We got to go prostrate in His presence when the cupboard comes. Shekinah means to be seen or a visible manifestation of the divine presence. Lord, let it happen. His glory is His. The glory belongs to God. His glory is His manifest presence. His character. His nature. His ability. His provision. And the weight and the splendor of majesty. His glory is His manifest presence. His manifest presence. His character. His nature. His ability. His provision. And the weight and the splendor of His majesty. Let me tell you, when the glory of God comes into the church, hey, 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 pastors and leaders, begging is over. His provision comes into the church. Look at the children of Israel when they were... Um, coming out of Egypt and they were even defecting in the wilderness cursing God for food wanted to commit mutiny to go back that's the time when they look over the wilderness and the glory of God start coming once the glory of God came there uh, even, even the weather changed it cooled their day in the wilderness I give them light by night and then provision start happening bread, manna start coming quail start coming provision even in the wilderness God just rain it down on in the wilderness and that'll go on the rocks, on the trees on the briar just to pick up the manna God just send it down because God is so much and too much that's what God wants to do in the church the church we are begging so much crying out to the world oh we need help but we need help from above when the glory comes it brings the ease. When the glory of God hit uh, the leadership and the rulership of Solomon, um, gold was like dung. Gold and silver were there were on the garbage heap. There was so much. Now, if God can do it in the Old Testament, think about what He can do on the New Testament when you tap into the glory of God, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God. Oh my God. I mean, somebody said we need to get there quickly. Woo! Lord, and when the glory of God comes, uh, acceleration comes. His glory is His manifest presence. His presence just comes. You don't have to conjure out anything. His manifest presence just comes upon us. When His glory comes, His character shows up. All of God shows up. His nature, we taste of His nature. His ability to do stuff, to super rule over the earth's affairs and then his provision when the glory comes provision comes in the church back into your life back into your business back into your nation back into your island and community what we need is uh, not more carnival in the caribbean we need more glory and there are churches got to stand up and demonstrate the glory of god and tell the leaders the governors and the senators and the leaders to come to your church there's provision here you don't even have to go to the IMF. You don't even have to go to the World Bank. One man in the earth, we know, demonstrated that. Young Getro. When Young Getro in Korea picks up an offering, he doesn't pick up offering in a basket. Um, armored trucks come outside his church door. Armored trucks are lined up to take up the offering from his church. He tapped into the glory of God and the splendor of God and the provision of God. So it is possible if, if Solomon tapped into it, if young get show chap, tapped into it, we can tap into it too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody, come on, somebody said tap into it. Tap into it. Tap into God's supply. In his glory, there is provision. He showed off himself and showed out when the glory of God came in the wilderness. It can't be worse than that. Between the bears, the rattlesnake, a lion, tiger, bear, all kind of stuff happening and uh, different um, climate. Uh, he came and changed even the temperature and the climate and just started raining down um, food for God's people in abundance. 
Ah, think about when the glory comes, what it will do for you. Come on, somebody say, we need the glory. Let's pull. God, tonight, tonight, tonight. We are learning about the glory tonight. We are, we are learning and we are drying. We are learning and we are drying. We are learning and we are drying. The glory, the glory, the glory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So God is the glory. So God is. God is the God of glory. No other God can make this affirmation. God is the God of glory. So Father, we lift up our hands to the God of glory. And we just say thank you. Thank you for being the God of glory. Buddha cannot say that. Krishna cannot say that. Only God can say, I am the God of glory. I am the owner of glory. What is the glory? God is the glory. And the glory is God. God is the glory. And the glory is God. In God is the Father of glory. Ephesians 1.17. Somebody write it down there for me. Ephesians 1.17. Ephesians 1.17, it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, He is the Father of glory. Oh my God. Uh, we could go into Revelation about that. A Father, the Father of glory. He is the one. He is the Father of glory. In, in, in Psalm verse 24 and verse 7, He says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates. We are the gates. We lift up our heads. We, we, we are the doorway, the passageway. It says, oh, O ye gates, and lift you and lift up your everlasting doors. And he says, and the king of glory shall come in. So God, he is the father of glory, and he is the king of glory. It means he can tell and administer and tell the glory where to go, where to manifest. He is father, and he is the king over glory. I tell you, when he rides, he rides on a chariot of glory and fire, wheel between a wheel. I tell you, his glory chariot moves across the earth to, today. Oh, Lord God, let the glory. You're the Father, Lord, we thank you. I mean, that's a good place to just worship him. I tell you, he's a Father, the Father of glory. Lord, we just thank you that you are the Father of glory. You are the pastor of glory. You're the administrator of glory. And then you said you are the king of glory you are in charge of it Ooh, God I will worship you oh Lord God we worship we worship we worship you worship, just worship him. Oh, Father of glory coming, King of glory coming. Come possess our lives, possess our homes, possess our husbands, wives, possess our children, possess our churches. King of glory, we invite you to come in. When there is glory, there is provision. Our Lord, there is all of heaven, his character, his majesty. In throne. Ah, where his glory is. Do it, do it for this end time church. Cause us to tap into this glorious experience of the glory of God. God cause us to tap in to this glorious experience of the glory of God. That's where you give a sweatless victory in our church. That's where we're going to move out of our church into some ball field in our community. Move into an arena. Ah, the, when the girl God comes, small, you don't think small anymore. The girl God forces you to think big. That was what happened in Colombia. All those deaths and killing and began praying and fasting. 
and then the people could not hold in their churches. So all the churches came together and just had mass crusades out in the, the football fields. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the glory of God comes, we take God out of a box. Yeah, when the glory of God comes, the small minded God that we had, it comes out of the box. The real God, it forces you to think. Hallelujah, and a whole nother realm, whole nother dimension, kingdom dimension, glory dimension. Oh, cause us to tap in, cause us tonight to tap in, to get a hold of the, of the, of the mechanics of the glory of God. That bring forth acceleration, brings forth the help. <clears throat> I'm going to go through some, a little, a few more definitions of the glory of God. Amen. Then we're going to go back into worship. Uh, maybe I'll pick it up another time. Definitions of the glory of God. The glory is the cloud that hovers over our lives. And in the, in the glory cloud, there is potential for miracles, revival, and harvest. The glory is the cloud of God that hovers over our lives. Lord, let that cloud hover over us today, over the church, over pastors, teachers, evangelists, bishops, apostles, over entire nations and islands. The glory is the cloud that hovers over our lives. Lord, let that glory hover over my life. And in the glory cloud, there is the potential for miracles revival and the harvest the potential for miracles uh, for revival and the harvest and so we gotta we gotta push we gotta push into the glory we gotta worship our way into the glory praise our way into the glory hallelujah stand and worship our way into the glory stand until the glory comes when the glory comes it is a time for miracles it's time for the harvest and it's time for rev the fires of revival when the glory comes we need to tap the glory cloud for resources innovations and the miracles church we cannot allow all the innovations to go um, to out in the world we need some innovators in heaven there's some inventions that 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 are, that are not under earth as yet we tap into them when we pray they come somebody got to pray for some in innovations that are not yet on the earth. We're talking about 5G. Then we're going to go to 6G, 7G, 10G. You got to go ahead of them and get that technology out of heaven and beat the world at their game. So it's not all, all church things we get out of heaven, out of the glory of God. There are stuff when we, God placed uh, um, buildings into a, an, a man's heart and taught him how to build the temple that came from heaven it was never seen on earth before how to deal with gold and deal with silver deal with different alloys but God taught him and he taught other people so therefore when we pray and when we stand in the glory and when we get a dream it's not all about church business it's about living on earth while we're possessing here and we occupy and we write are gone are those days when we tap into the resources of heaven and and and, and, uh, and we do nothing with them now is the time when the glory of god comes creativity comes inventions come also when we tap in when the glory comes we need to tap the glory cloud for resources there are resources how we are to govern in the church resources how we are to supply the needs of our our nations and our uh, community and our islands resources innov in innovations inventions and there are miracles in it the glory realm is the realm of eternity when the glory of god comes it's eternity coming to bear upon you and eternity has a lot of stuff in it you just draw 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 all day when the glory comes eternity comes into your church your home your business 
your environment and your life. When the glory comes, eternity comes into your church, your home, business, your environment, and your life. That's what happens when the glory of God comes into your life and into my life. The glory realm is the realm of acceleration. When the glory of God comes in, it's time for acceleration. You saw when the glory of God came up from heaven, in another second, it burnt up everything. It burned up everything. Okay? Everything, the sacrifice, the wood, even the stone and the dust and the water. Acceleration. In another second. The glory realm is the realm of acceleration. Isaiah 43, 7. They are created now and not from the beginning. In the glory, Isaiah 48 and verse 7. Write that one there. Isaiah 48, 7. In, when we go into the glory and then the glory of God descends upon us, there is, we move into an accelerated realm, the realm of glory. Things speed up. Things are created there just for us. Isaiah 48 and verse 7. It says that they are created now and not from the beginning. They are created now and not from the beginning. In the glory of God, things are created for you on the spot. You need money. Now money is created for you. Money is just a piece of bush ground together and they die it and they give it to you to spend. And on the spot, things are created for you. On the spot God creates. That's a whole nother level of living. A glory. We, we, we got to go for the glory. Hey, hey, hey. Tell somebody. We got to go for the glory of God. Well, my God. My God. That's what happened in the glory of God. We stepped into a season of acceleration. That's what happened when the glory of God came down in the first century church. Boom, in one day, 3,000 souls got saved because what? Bam, fire came into Jerusalem and touched them. Boom, and next time, 5,000. Then they, uh, they went out the chart. <laughs> Stop counting. Oh my God, this is what happened when the, when the glory comes. I'm excited about the glory of God coming. Woo, somebody say hallelujah. When the glory comes, there is no limitations in the glory realm when the glory comes there is no limitation your, 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 your church your ministry your business your family's business it, it, no limits i tell you have money money to give away money money just like solomon like dust the money in your bank just uh, just multiplying just all by itself not by the nano little percentage they're giving to you and that's glory <laughs> Ooh, yeah 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 there are no limitations in the glory realm. There is no time limit in the glory. Have you been, ever been in the glory in church? And, then you, you, and when you come out, you look at the time and say, wow, I didn't know it, is. it looks so, so early still. <laughs> there is no time limit in the glory. In the glory, time is suspended. When we step into the glory time, the dimension of time, because what? Because we are, we are operating in eternity. Woo! God's very nature is glory. The glory is not limited by time, space, or your circumstance. Glory is the nature of God. The glory is not, the glory of God is not limited by time on earth, space, or circumstance. Whatever you're going through now, the glory of God fills the atmosphere. Is the fullness of God. You know, sometimes people with their spirituality and Christianity based on what is happening to them. If they are sick, they don't feel good today. They think God don't feel good with like them today. No. No, no, no. God's glory, no, he doesn't wait on, on that. The, the, the glory is not limited by earth's time, space, or the circumstances or the issues that you're facing right now. The glory of God to just rush in and change change it change it just for you all right i'm gonna give you a lot and we're gonna go now into a uh, worship and, and i'm gonna prophesy a bit and then we're gonna end hallelujah god we just worship you we praise you 
You are awesome. You are awesome. You are mighty. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Harababa yanda ribaba bandu. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ribaba bandu. Shirada yanda ribaba bakutu shamba. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Uh, yes, that's what they did long ago in church. <laughs> After the worship, the praise, the hymns of praise, the folks would stare around the altar and they would just wait on God. They would just wait. Until the glory come. Wait until the weight of the glory of God comes. So when you're waiting on God, you don't have to say anything. You are in His presence. You're spending time to be in His presence. Some people think they're going to say something all the time. <laughs> I'm just showing you. This is just practical. Some of you just stay there and just let his glory and his presence just bathe you. It's you and God. And you're spending time in his presence. You're not spending time in sin. You're spending time just sitting in his presence. Let the waves of his glory just come and wash you, cleanse you. Let him talk to you. Hear God. When you sit in the glory, the sound of glory, your mind is stayed upon him. The mind of Christ comes. The mind of Christ. The church needs the mind of Christ. God give us the mind of Christ. there is fullness of joy and so as we wait upon him that's what happened in the upper room they just sat and the glory came the fire came the tongues of fire came and changed the first century change nations change Christianity change the Pharisees the Sadducees <laughs> change change so I pray as we are coming on to the end that some of the things that we've shared on the glory of God, you can go back and listen and tap into them, make notes. I said, God, I, I never knew this about the glory. And, and said, God, I want it to become it to be manifested. I want this particular facet of the glory of God to be manifested in my life, in my church, I mean, in my family. I mean, in my island, in my nation, manifestation. Lord God, tonight we pray for the manifestation of your glory. In the, in the archipelago of the Caribbean, the manifestation of your glory. On every believer watching us tonight, the manifestation of your glory upon every church leader. The manifestation upon even the, the musicians, the organists. Those, those who lead first, the Judas in our church. Those who, who are entrusted to set the atmosphere. Let the glory, let them prepare themselves to tap into the glory and release it and change the atmosphere with worship, with sound and playing. So make it easy for ministry to occur. The minister before the ministry, the minister before the minister comes. Everyone is going to talk about worship and praise and glory. Because the enemy is messing with that also. Shila la riyandu riba baba kaya shaka yanda la la raba. Bro 
I just feel waves and waves. I just feel waves and waves of the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's filling somebody. God is healing somebody. God is restoring marriages. He is restoring souls. He's restoring mind, deranged mind. He's putting you back together, your mind together. He's knocking fear out of your mind. Fear and doubting the things of God. Somebody is doubting being filled with the Holy Spirit tonight and purpose. Holy Spirit, fill them in their in the doubters. Fill them in their sleep. Fill all of them in their sleep. Let them wake up praying in the spirit and tossing on the bed. God knows how to fix you. Good. <laughs> Baptize folks. Baptize fearful folks. Baptize pastors and leaders who are in churches and they're not fresh and filled with the Holy Ghost. Our worship leaders, baptize them with a fresh empowerment of the Holy Spirit tonight. Lord God, release a fire around the church tonight. A fire, a force field around, a glory fire around the church tonight. Engulf us in your fire tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. I think, I think we're done. Hallelujah. God, thank God. Amen. Thank you all for coming by and assisting me as we pray, we worship, we praise. We talk a little bit on the glory of God. And I know that we, we, we repaired broken walls in our lives, in our churches, in our communities, in our nations. Amen. And we're going to go back. We're going to listen it again. We're going to take notes. And we're going to say, I need that facet of the glory of God in my life. And I'm going to stick with it until the glory of God shows up in my life. Until I become a carrier of the glory of God. I tell you, I've been in so many meetings when the glory of God showed up. I could not even open my mouth and speak. I just show up, put my, my stuff on the lectern, and the glory of God just hit me. And I'm saying, my God, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to preach. <laughs> when the glory of God shows I like when the glory of God shows up. Come on, God, show up and show up. Man has been showing up, flesh has been showing up all the time. God, show up and show out and show off. Amen? I tell you. And so we, we, we thank God for the visionaries. Pastor Kurt Richardson, we salute you. We bless you. And we just pray the blessings of God upon your life, upon your ministry. And we pray that in 2021, hallelujah, that God's going to ease the load and the care. And God's going to bless you beyond um, your, your imagination, all that you can think, maybe on your understanding. You're looking for something now, but God could bless you more than at what you're looking at right now, way ahead. So God uh, has already touched you with his glory and bring about acceleration. And when he brings acceleration, he's just uh, creating stuff in your midst, right on the spot just for you. And also we touch and we pray for Apostle Napolina Richardson. We thank you. You're the visionary. We salute you. And we just thank God for this global trust of sending the word of God, worship, prayer, praise into the nation. And I know um, that you, the, your work of labor will not go out for zero. God is going to manifest his presence in your life life. He's going to manifest his weight upon your life. He's going to manifest his beauty and nature in your life. I tell you, when folks see you, they, they, they think you're going to be dragging through life. No, you're going to whip into life, looking like the glory of God, having the character of God upon you, the nature of God upon you. And so I, I hear the Holy Spirit say, arise and shine for his light and life has come and the glory of God is upon you now and, uh, and the devil uh, he just got to flee from your surroundings flee from every attack arise shine for miracle signs and wonders has lighted upon your life and the glory of God is risen up on the inside of you and we are rooting for you we are praying for you we are prophesying um, strength and prophesying manner vigor and victory over your life in Jesus name and we prophesy all over uh, for those who normally come up to um, 
to pray and, and to be on this line. We pray a blessing upon you. We pray a blessing upon your, your family. We pray a blessing upon your church. We pray expansion upon your churches. We pray that the Jabesh is anointing upon you. May God bless you indeed. Take away the pain. Take away the sorrow of this pandemic and the curse of this pandemic. And then God would bless you mightily. According to Deuteronomy 28, he would bless you. Press down, shaking together and running over. And I pray that God would anoint everybody's feet. According to um, Deuteronomy 33, 24, 25, 26, when Asher dipped his feet in oil. You, I, I pray that you dip your feet in anointed oil. And when he dipped his feet instantaneously, the next chapter verse said that his feet was changed to iron and brass. It means that that is that flesh and bones coming at you, devil. It's iron and brass feet coming at you. You're going to hear a rumble. You're going to hear a tumble. We're going to be up worshiping, up praising, up moving, up dancing. Ah, I feel God. I, I got I to gotta finish here. In the name of Jesus. That's it. Mm, iron and brass. Watch out. When we want to talk about iron and brass feet they would not wear easily and we are up doing the work of the kingdom of god so god bless you it was really an awesome night to be in your presence amen i enjoyed it so god bless you and we love you in jesus name amen amen bless you bless you i'm going to end with this one oh the glory god bless you have a wonderful night we love you. Thank you all for praying for us. Amen. Pray for your church. Pray for your pastor. Continue to worship until the glory comes. And we push until the glory comes. God bless you. We're going to go with this song. So arise. And be blessed. And be blessed. Bless. As we glory, as we glory.
So God bless you. We love you. And we're going to see you another Monday night. So God bless you. Bye-bye.